This is essentially a tight game of combat, melee combat, and ranged combat with a thrill ride of experiences built on top of it. This is really not a game about hiding behind cover, cowering and taking a couple pot shots at the enemy. This is about striding into the middle of the battle, being surrounded by orcs at all times, and just kill them. In this game, you'll have very little downside. Enemies are always all around you. You'll be making snap decisions between, I need to cut through this guy here. There's another guy coming from over there. I need to shoot him. It's a blood fest. The combat system in Space Marine is a unique system. You take a look at the Space Marine again, he's huge. He's big, he's powerful, but he's not limited to one form of combat over another. He's a master of all combat. The whole basis of achieving this combat system is the animation engine. It's the ability to transition between two different animations and make them blend seamlessly. In animation, we're accountable to every movement that the Space Marine does, that the player does, that the enemies do. Everything has to connect and be choreographed in a way that's fluid and connected. Our camera system is very versatile in the ability to switch from range combat to melee combat and back again in a very short amount of time. That combination of the really sort of up close and personal melee combat that we have in our game, combined with the devastating ranged weapons we have, creates this very unique combat experience that you've never played before. In Space Marine, the quickest way to regenerate your health is to stay in the fight, pulling over the top execution moves. This will restore your health much quicker than avoiding the battle. Fury is the epitome of visible, violent death. The more violent you are, the more fury you get. This allows the player to control the battle using ranged or close combat moves. Range fury slows down time. It allows the player to pick off the enemies and perform that incredibly satisfying headshot. When you're in the thick of the fight and you're overwhelmed on all sides, close combat fury allows you to clear the area and take out many enemies at once. If you use close combat fury effectively, you'll destroy those smaller enemies while stunning the larger ones, giving you enough time to deliver that final brutal blow. The weapons in 40,000 IP and so as a whole are pretty much an order of magnitude greater than anything we have or have even conceived. The player starts with basic weaponry, a ranged weapon, a melee weapon. As the game progresses, we unlock uh, new abilities, new upgrades, and new weapons for the players. In Space Marine, we have the LAS Cannon, which is this huge energy sort of laser pull that burns these giant holes through armor. We've got the Plasma Gun that you know you can charge up and fires these sort of little mini nuke plasma bombs. We've got the Heavy Bolter, which is basically like a big Gatling cannon, and it's so powerful that when you hit enemies, they just kind of disappear into these mists of blood. Throughout the campaign, we unlock a power axe. We even allow the player to use a thunder hammer, which is really over the top in terms of the damage it can do. Space Marines like to get up close and personal. The weapons are meant to be as lethal as possible. The game itself is a pure combat experience when you look at it from a gameplay perspective. We talk about a core promise of the game being unleash visible violent death. It has a lot of action, and we make sure that when a weapon is meant to look like it's torn you apart, that we don't compromise and that the weapon does tear you apart. There's a lot of blood, a lot of gore, limbs flying everywhere, so the gore junkie is gonna love this title for sure.